Beware, PC gamers out there, I am with you. Now, I'm actually not really a gamer very much, but back when I did game, I still think that if you want to game, PC is the way to go. Consoles aren't as good, they're a lot cheaper, yes, but overall I think a PC can do more as well as just play games better. I'm part of the PC master race. But my Apple Sheep eyes have shown me the future and it is scary because your future of PC gaming is very, very dependent on how Microsoft handles their software. Windows 10 is the most installed operating system in the world. Not consensually though. Keep in mind that Windows 10 forcefully installed itself on a lot of devices. Back when it was first coming out, a lot of people who had Windows 7 would just turn on their computer one morning and find Windows 10 on it. Microsoft saying, we fixed everything for you. Windows is better now. This is what you want. 10 is perfected. And then in reality, a bunch of your old Windows 7 apps were no longer supported and a lot of the functionality you had back on your Windows 7 PC was no longer supported on Windows 10. I had tons of friends who had this problem and relatives and you, of course, based on my last couple videos, know how I feel about Windows. But here's more in particular what I am worried about, and here is an answer to how it can be fixed, and you know that by the title already. When Microsoft finds a better way to design their software, typically they'll urge you to switch to it, but not force you, and if you don't want to switch to it, you take your time and you want to stick with the way things are, they're just going to start forcefully updating your computer whether you want to or not. We saw this with the switch from Windows 7 and 8 to 10. They just kind of started shoving it on everyone's computer as fast as they could and I'm worried that they're seeing the potential speed enhancements and optimizations with Windows 10 S. The big difference with Windows 10 S of course is that it can only install apps that are verified from the Windows Store. Microsoft is desperate all right they're now giving away their most popular product which is Windows 10 for free but in order for that operating system to be properly optimized and for people to truly enjoy using Windows whether it be on the tablets or if Microsoft wants to ever try to start making phones again, they need their Windows Store to be full of apps. It's not right now. It's got some cool apps on it, but for the most part, it's pretty barren other than the big important apps, you know, like Facebook, Twitter, and Microsoft Word. You know, the big ones are there. But in order for that app store to actually grow and become something that's popular, I am predicting that Microsoft is gonna start enforcing developers to stop making just regular old .exe files and start asking everyone to go through the Windows Store store. That way the apps can be verified, they can be optimized so that your Windows computers, they start up faster, they run better, because that's the main appeal with Windows 10 S, right? Better battery life, better performance, because everything is locked down and verified. So Microsoft wants their products to be better, they want to make these improvements to Windows 10, and I think Windows 10 S is their foot in the door, they're playing with the idea of locking everyone down. And you have to admit, the Windows Store would probably get a lot more developers and a lot more applications if Microsoft told everyone, okay, Hey guys, you have 12 months. That means in one year, the only way to download programs on your Windows devices through the Windows Store. Nothing else will be supported. I'm not saying this will happen soon, this will happen next year or anything like that. I'm saying further future out, you know, five, six, seven years from now, when they're realizing that the Windows Store is still barren, but they need people to notice improvements and notice enhancements within Windows 10, this would be their urge of how to get people to start making apps for the Windows Store. The biggest companies that would be in trouble is Valve and Origin of one of the most popular Windows apps in the world because they kind of manage your game library. And that's one of the primary reasons people use Windows computers is the gaming possibilities, right? That's why I had one. That's why I have Windows 10 boot camped on my MacBook is so that we can play more games on them. If Windows 10 S starts, if Microsoft starts pushing Windows 10 S on more and more devices in the next decade, Steam and Origin are gonna be in big trouble because it means that all of those AAA games and even all of those little games that are on the Steam store won't be able to be installed on Windows 10 S devices. It means that all of those developers are going to start to have to move to the Windows Store, which would make less people use Steam, less people use Origin, because the job of those programs is to install software. So if they can't install the games, no one's going to use Valve or Origin. My answer to this is I think that Valve, with all of their money and power, making a ton of money on game sales, as well as just, you know, the CSGO community market, makes a ton of money just on the sales of different textured guns. All Valve releases the these days are Dota patches. They're not making games anymore. Half-Life 3 is just an old myth at this point. Valve, Gabe Newell, with all of your power, I think it is time for you guys to start actually competing. Make your own actual hardware. And I'm not talking about the Steam controller. I'm talking about a desktop slash laptop. Build your own tower running SteamOS. Expand SteamOS further so that it can be a full-fledged computer. I know there's Steam machines out there, but they're kind of limited right now. And I think that if Valve really pushed this, they would actually have 
have some traction against Microsoft. If they designed their computers themselves, designed the software on those computers themselves, they would be far more optimized than any Windows 10 rig. Instead of having to go through Windows' whole setup process, when you turn on the Valve machine, you just sign into your Steam account and it opens up. You don't have to sign into Windows and then sign into Steam and then have access to your games. You just open it up. You can either be running it with Big Picture or Steam OS. They already have their own built-in browser. If they would just start opening that up, making operating systems and hardware that work together that is specifically designed for gamers. And if you're not going to design your own hardware, at least partner with someone like Razer. Start making Razer laptops that ship with Steam OS. Expand that, like I said, a little bit so it's a bit more of a desktop operating system that can compete with Windows. And then, if you even started doing that now, just to prepare for the future, Microsoft would now have incentive not to force Windows 10 S on all of their devices. Because they would realize that Steam and Origin, if you guys partnered together on this, could steal the entire gaming community if they wanted to. I mean, Microsoft's got Xbox, but still. Valve, I think you have the power to capture the entire gaming market if you would start making your own hardware. That's laptops and desktops and whatever the heck else you want to make. You have a lot of money, you have a lot of resources, and I think if you started pulling apart from Microsoft, pulling apart from Windows, you'd have more success than you expect. Again, I'm not a gamer, so I could be totally wrong about this, but of course, I want to know your thoughts on the fear of Windows 10 S becoming forcefully installed on more machines in the future. Because keep in mind, Microsoft does things like that. They are okay with forcefully updating your computer all the time. Valve, if you started breaking away and making your own hardware and software that work together, you would be truly Windows 10 competitors. And I would love to see that happen because I love it when a company decides to make hardware and software optimized together. Please make this happen. And if there's problems with this theory, of course, let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.